Is everybody else ready? <laughs> Go ahead and call the meeting to order. Thank you all for coming this evening. Uh, first thing we have on the agenda is a review and approval of the minutes from the prior meeting. We've already commented on the time, but otherwise, are there any other additions or corrections that need to be made? If not, I'd look for a motion to approve, please. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion to, a motion to approve, pardon me. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? That would take care of the minutes. And the only item on our agenda this evening is a public hearing or two public hearings for ANA Electric. Uh, Ian, if you want to start the conversation, please, sir. Sure. So the request tonight is twofold. One is to change the comp plan uh, land use designation. And the second is to change the zoning district for uh, four platted lots within block one of the South Bend Commercial Park subdivision which is otherwise known as ANA Electric. So this request came about because of a site plan review application that came to the city. Um, basically what ANA Electric is interested in doing is putting up a new 24,000 square foot <coughs> building um, to the east of their existing building and then also paving out some of the areas elsewhere on the lot just to accommodate um, other outdoor storage of vehicles, materials, etc. Um, with that, however, the property is currently zoned uh, C3 Highway Commercial, and as <coughs> the use of the property is, it fits the definition of a contractor yard, and contractor yards are only permitted within the I-1 and I-2 districts, which are industrial districts, that's the reason for the zone change request. And then beyond that, the comp plan amendment is necessary because right now the area included is guided towards retail slash service commercial. And so what's being proposed is to change it to industrial slash manufacturing slash business uh, just to match the zoning change as well. <coughs> Um, so just to talk about the surrounding area a bit, we've got the South Fork subdivision directly to the south, which is a, a PUD residential, uh, low density residential area. Um, to the west of the four lots is vacant agricultural land, uh, technically not within <coughs> city limits, but our comp plan uh, <coughs> does guide it towards retail service commercial. And then to the north, we've got a quick trip, um, also within that C3 highway commercial and retail service commercial area. And then that's the same to the east of the properties as well, which <coughs> now is vacant, but um, perhaps in the future it could also be reguided towards the same uh, industrial uh, designations there. Thank you, sir. Does anybody have any questions for Ian? No? If not, I'll go ahead and open up the public hearing. Uh, sir, if you have anything you'd like to share on the matter, if you'd be kind enough to come up uh, to the podium and share your name and address. And I'm Nick Ramsey. Uh, Joel asked me to uh, put this shop up for him. So all I'm here for is to answer any possible questions if, if Ian didn't already cover it. But I think he did a great job and uh, seems like uh, seems like I, uh, if anyone has any questions, just ask. I guess so. That's all I'm here for. Thank you. Tremendous. Thank you, sir. Well, that said, I'll also go ahead and close the public hearing. Um, gentlemen, at least from my part, I I can't really see any flaws with what is being proposed here. I think it's very much in line with what's going on in that area. Um, if we have anything to discuss or argue about, I'm happy to discuss or argue. I think it actually helps because now his building will actually be in the right zone that he's got there now currently. <laughs> I was trying to sit and think if we had an industrial zone designation all this time. I can't remember if we did or if we didn't. Maybe we, I don't remember. I, just saw, I remember commercial. You know, like one, it two, might have been something that. we added. And yeah. Well, so I think we did the, the prior comp plan, I think, had something, and it was a small area, and I think yeah. we took it out when we did the new 
Greenway might be the only industrial zone we have. So the elevator might, mm -hmm. I think, is. But I think so it's just. That was just floating in between my ears. For the city, if you do have it, so. Yeah. yeah. So. Ian, question for you: the uh, the screening that you mentioned in your report uh -huh. uh, between this property and the South Fork to the south, yes. does that go along that whole South property line, or what's the um, kind so of start and stop? Yeah, of the site plan review aspect is still it's not been fully approved yet okay um but so far what they have is a is a six foot fence extending at least along lots two and three um on that southern edge and then some landscaping elements as well and then also bringing out the grading a bit more so it's a bit higher elevation I think it'll look better as a building than as a lot. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I'm just. So. I don't know. I would. I would say though. I think if there's going to be any kind of screening, it should. <coughs> be, it it makes sense to have it the entire. The entire. I mean, even where his current building is at. Sure. To make, you know, because I I I don't understand. I mean, you put up a new building and you put screening for the new building, but yet the current building doesn't. You know, so I I. That would be a recommendation that I would make, and and see if he's amenable to that to to have that screening go. You know, then it's it's consistent across his entire property. Um, you know, and then there isn't we don't have you know pushback from part of them. Yeah, from from you know the folks that live by you know that lot one. You know, so I, I do believe the, there's like three homes that are directly south of lot one, and they yep. all have. Uh, their own privacy offenses, but I, I agree we could very well ask A and A to continue what their screening is throughout the rest of. We'd be putting a fence in front of a fence, but I, I get it. it. Yeah, I mean, if that's an agreement that that the those houses in the South Fork that they come with, but I yeah I just I think we just need to be consistent across the whole property. So I mean, if there's fencing and there's screening on part of it, I think it needs to be across the the. Can yeah. we do some green screening then, at least? At, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would be. I just, I just think there should be something. But what my point? Yeah. I mean, could we do, you know, roll of barbed wire? Could we do, you know, anything like that? Just I would. I would be amenable yeah, to that. I, like I, would, I, I understand what you're saying. With the, it doesn't make any sense to put a fence up against a fence. But yeah, I mean, I, I would be amenable to anything. But okay. yeah, I think regardless of what, because that South Park home could sell, and new owner, could new owner could come down. in and tear that yeah. fence down. I, so it doesn't necessarily need to match lots two and three as long as we have a, a site that looks some, nice. I would, yeah, I would okay. just some kind of <clears throat> screening from from the property. I think would be, uh, I would be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's a better idea anyway. Those arborvitas would be a lot taller than anything you would build. Yeah, the only thing that stinks about that is you know, you know, plow take one of them out and then you gotta. A whole, I don't know. You, we've all seen it. Yeah. One dies off. We have four healthy ones, a dead one. Three healthy ones, a dead one. And you know darn well they never get replaced. That's, you know, I mean that's just how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. They get done at first to make everyone happy. Yeah. And then it's out of sight, out of mind until the next time that he wants to do something, and then, then we're back in the same boat. So, but I, I do agree that it would look a lot nicer with some sort of green I don't even care if it was you know a tree or something you know they got the first six feet already taken care of you know <clears throat> I don't care if you plant a half a dozen maples or something I don't know you know but I do agree that something uh, living would look a lot better than another fence in front of a fence yeah. Yeah. anything else If not, I would look for a motion, please. I'll make a motion to approve. Uh, we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? I'll second. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? That would be a recommendation to the City Council. Are we doing both in the same motion? The comp plan and the, the comp plan and rezone to yes, I one please. and the yeah. comp plan guiding. Okay. Yeah. 
It was listed on here as a single agenda item, so if it's acceptable to do both. Because <laughs> you can't have one without the other in my mind, so muzzle. interpretation of what was being asked of us anyway. Are you all caught up? I am. I'm okay. good. Don't wait for me. Well, that's the only thing we had on our agenda this evening. Uh, is there anything else anybody would like to discuss over here? If not, I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you all for awesome. coming. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, Nate. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> We've had some quick tone shifting. <laughs> <laughs>